back to CS Coins. I am pretty excited for today's video. I think I stumbled upon a collection dump here. Um, I went to a bank today and I noticed that some of the rolls were marked, such as this one, 56D. So I knew I might have had something special here. So I peeked through a couple of these rolls and they look like they're all marked with different dates. Uh, this one says 66BU. Um, and I probably just glanced through like four or five rolls just to see what was in here. And from what I saw, I was either seeing BU nickels or older nickels on all these rolls that are marked. So I think what I'm going to do is start opening some of these ones live to just see what we have. Make sure that, uh, you know, I'm not sure why whoever dumped these scribbled out the uh, years. I, I can't really tell what that one is. Oh, it's backwards. Okay, that's 5060. So, um, also I ended up getting dimes and I think one roll was from that same person because it has, uh, looks like an old roll to begin with. And also scribbled out as well, but it says uh, 73 DBU. And if we look at the ender, that looks like exactly what we're gonna have. So we might take a look at that one later. But I saw all of those uh, marked rolls, you know, I saw some goodies inside of those. So I went back in, I wanted to know what kind of pennies uh, were dumped at that bank. And after looking through a couple of these rolls, I think it's gonna be the same kind of deal. I was seeing a lot of, uh, you know, BU older copper pennies. I saw one wheat penny just in a few rolls I looked through. So we're gonna have a collection dump today and I'm pretty excited to get through it because I've never found a penny or a nickel collection dump and that's exactly what I have here. So I'm gonna get going on these rolls live and I'll show you guys what we find. I think I'm gonna start with this one here, 56D. I did look into one of the 56D rolls. I think there's a few of them and it was 56D and they all look to be uncirculated. So unfortunately, these are the only gloves I could find at my house. I don't think they're really meant for this kind of thing, but uh, it's better than nothing. Would have liked to have uh, something better, but as you can see, I do have a 56 on the end and it's looking pretty nice. So I'm just gonna empty these out here. Look at the condition on those guys, that is, that is beautiful. All of them, BU in amazing condition, that is incredible. Um, so what I think I'm gonna do is go through these and look for errors or full steps. And I will show you guys all the really nice ones in the wrap up, but that's incredible. I, I don't think I've ever found, I'll just show one of you guys, or I'll show you guys one of these up close give you an idea of how nice they're looking. See a couple steps on this one. Look at that color and that toning. I, you know, there's a lot of brand new nickels that look just like this. It's like incredible. They've got like this gold toning to them. So I am going to go through these rolls. And like I said, if I see anything really amazing, if I see any errors, any full steps, uh, Anything else that's jumping out at me, I'll let you guys know, but uh, I don't know if I'll go through every single BU roll. Um, I'll probably show you guys a couple more live because I kind of know what to expect with those. But um, yeah, that's an amazing start to this, uh, this collection dump here. So right when I got in the car and noticed some of these uh, rolls were marked with dates, I started looking in a couple of these that just had the line on them and I was seeing just um, a lot of older nickels, nothing BU or anything really, but I was seeing nickels like from the 40s all the way through the 60s. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit for you guys and open this one live, see what we can find. And as you can already tell, I am not seeing anything BU in here. Uh, there's 64, 41, hold on to that, 1940, Keep keeping those. 64, there's a 46, that'll be a keeper. Hopefully there's a war nickel in here. I don't think I see any obvious ones. That's not looking like one. Uh, 64, 54, what do we got here? Some damage, uh, 64, 64, 61, 63. Seems like whoever dumped these was uh, Holding on to 64s for some reason. There's quite a few in here. 64, there's a 58. Uh, this one's looking a little older. 
46. Keep that one. Uh, 63. There's a 47. 55. Uh, it's not the semi key, it's a Denver. But there is a pretty decent chance, I think, for semi keys and key dates in here. So I'm going to keep my eyes open. 55. Let's see if it's Philly. Nope. 58. Uh, Denver. See the D mint mark 1960. 58D. 64. 64. 64. 60. 64. 61. 64. 58. We got any more 40s in here? Let's see. 60s. Here's a 41. 53 Denver, 63, 63. Seems like all these coins are Denver, uh, or at least the majority of them. So out of that roll, I ended up with, uh, how many is that? Six 40s nickels. That is pretty dang good for one roll. I think that's a record for me. And that's only the first one we've tried of those kind of rolls. So that's pretty awesome. Let's keep at it. I think I'm going to keep doing the just plain marked ones live and uh, might show a couple of the BU ones at the end. But you guys probably already know what to expect with those. So uh, yeah, I think we're going to have a great hunt today. I'm excited. I'm going to try my luck at uh, marked roll number two here. Um, I think what I'm going to start... Oh, this one's actually BU. Another uh, 56 BU roll. So I'm going to get my glove on before I open these up really quick i don't want to be uh touching these old bu coins with my bare hands so i think my theory might be a little wrong i think uh i think some of these random ones are just uh bu but there is another roll of beautiful 1956 bu nickels and like i said i think i'm gonna spare you guys all the bu rolls i'll just show you how many i ended up with in the wrap up but I'm going to be looking through these for full steps and any kind of errors. So that's awesome. Another 56 roll of BUs. That is beautiful. Look at all of those. They are very nice looking 56 coins. I'm going to have to look through these pretty closely, guys. I just pulled a 38 out of this roll. Unfortunately, it's not the key date, but it's in pretty decent shape for a 38. That was a pleasant surprise. We'll have to see if there's anything else tucked in here. I actually think I see a 39 peeking out right there i don't know guys it's looking like there's a decent potential for a key date it's just some random nickels in here 64 mixed in with the bus so uh i'm gonna look through these and really carefully and make sure i am uh finding everything this is another old reverse here another 39 wow guys i think we might be onto a jackpot here I'll keep you guys updated. So I had to change my angle here just because my phone was dying. I had to plug it in. But uh, this is another roll. Same kind of roll marked the same way as that last roll we looked through. And I'm seeing a lot of BU 56s. But check this out, guys. I think we're going to have a lot more uh, 30s in here, too. There's a 39 right here. Philadelphia. Uh, there's another 39, Philly. I think we got quite a few in here, guys. That one's just a 64. I don't know what those are doing all over the place. 38. Philadelphia. One of these has to, has a, has to have a mint mark, I would imagine. Uh, here's a 39. That is a Philly. It's pretty good shape, though. 64. Some of these are... Uh, that's actually a 62, but some of these are pretty nice shape even though they're with the uh, 56s still look like they're pretty BU I'm seeing some older looking ones back here that is going to be a 39 Philly this is incredible 39 Philly you know what I'm probably gonna double my 39s in one hunt I usually find like two or three in a hunt there's another 39 I'm definitely gonna be scoping some of these for the uh, DDR uh, there's another one, Philadelphia. Come on, one of these has to be the key date. Um, and I'm not seeing any other old-looking reverses right now. Um, I think that might be it for the 30s in that roll. But I'm going to go through every roll, even if it's marked a certain year, and just check for these 30s, because I got... How many is that? 
Looks like I got four, eight thirties nickels in that roll. That is insane. So I'm going to get going on the next one and uh, I'll let you guys know what I find. So I opened another roll. It looked just like the last one I opened, but this one wasn't marked. But I am going to see definitely some uh, remnants of that collection dump. There's a 41 right here. Um, as you can see, we got a 56 BU right there. Um, I'm going to take a look at some of these older looking ones. That's a 41. And let's see if we have anything else in here. 56. There's even some newer ones. I'm seeing uh, 70s over here. This looks like an old reverse. And that's going to be another 39. That's unbelievable. So, um, oh, there's another 39, actually. Let's see what year, or what mint mark. No mint mark, of course. Um, I'm just going to scour through these a little more. Just look at the shape on these 56s, guys. I can't believe that. That is incredible. Let me zoom in there for a little bit amazing condition i can't believe it i have so many of these 56s in these rolls i don't know where this guy came across all this stuff but that's amazing uh i'll let you guys know if there's anything else in this roll and if not on to the next so i'm just going through all the rolls that look like this right now no date marked on them and this one appears to be only 1962 bu nickels i don't see any other date in there but those are some dandies for sure and we got a whole roll of them. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this wrap up, but uh, I don't know whether I'm just going to put all the BU dates together or put, leave them in the rolls. I don't know. I'll figure that out later, but still cannot believe this, guys. I've had collection dumps of maybe a roll or two. I've never had anything like this. This is a huge one. So I'm praying that we have Buffalo Nickels or War Nickels or something crazy in one of these rolls. I would not be surprised. So I've got another marked roll here, but it's a different kind of roll. So I'm going to see if that makes a difference. Uh, judging by the ender, it looks like we're going to have another BU roll. But I'm going to do it live just in case we have anything else hiding in there, like those 30s uh, nickels in the other rolls. And I do see some 39s in here, so let's take a look. This one, oops. That's actually a 59, my bad. But I do see a 39 right here. That's a Philly. And this one looks pretty old. Let's see. That's only a 63. There's all sorts of dates in this roll. There's a 64. I'm seeing a 38 right here. No mint mark. Another old looking one. Here's a 39. It's not going to have a mint mark. Another 39, no mint mark. Ah oh, man, that 59 keeps tricking me. I saw the D on the back and I gotta get that thing out of here. Uh, there's some more 50s in here, 53D. Uh, this one looks pretty old. It's another 39. This is incredible. Got some old ones here, 39, Philly. And of course that's just a 56. Um, I do see another old reverse right here. I'm betting that's a 39, and it is. Um, and those are all the 39s I'm seeing right off the bat. So, looks like the rest of them are pretty much BU 60. Or these are 56s, but I do see some 60s in there as well. So, uh, we're going to add, um, I got to count these up. I got so many 39s now. There was 138 in that roll, and I think we have, looks like 639. So check this out, guys. I've got my uh, pile of uh, 38s and 39s right there and 40s right there. Look at that. I cannot believe how many we've found. That's crazy. I've never found that many. It probably takes me a couple months to find that many in boxes and bags. So unbelievable. I'm gonna try another roll like that last one and see what we're working with. Uh, as expected, more BU, but I think we might have some other stuff inside and I am already seeing some uh, older Jeffersons here. Uh, we're gonna have a 39 right here, Philadelphia. Uh, this may be 60s, let's see. Oh, that's a 39. It's got some nice detail. 
I might pull that one aside. That's a nice one right there for sure. Be nice to get some uh, BU 39s. <laughs> This guy was pretty kind to me. I'd like to uh, see the extent of his gift here. Um, this one's looking pretty old, another 39. Philadelphia. It's gonna be a 39. Another 38, haven't found one of those in a while. That's a Philly. And... I think that may be it for that role as far as the really old ones. The rest of them are 60s and BU 50s, it looks like. So I'm going to roll these up and get on to the next one. But that ain't a bad haul for one roll. And I've been at that pace about every roll for the 30s nickels. So unbelievable. So one of those next marked rolls, we're going to have a BU roll of 1964s. Very nice looking coins. Um... But I'm not seeing anything old looking in there. It's all looking BU to me. So I'm going to roll it up and get on to the next one. So this roll is marked 64D new. And it's got that mark like all the other ones. Um, so I'm assuming this is going to be another roll of 64 uncirculated nickels. But we're going to do it live in case there's anything else in there. I'm sure you guys are interested in seeing the whole collection dump. Um, so I don't believe there's going to be anything old in here. It's looking all BU again. That's another BU roll, and I will definitely take that. So on the next roll, I'm going to have a full roll of BU 1962 nickels. Show you guys one of these up close. They are very sharp, as has every nickel been with this collection dump so far, pretty much. All the BU ones. So that's pretty sweet. I'm hoping there's some old ones in here. Um, some old 30s, maybe war nickels, but uh, I'll take the BUs all day long. It's pretty sweet finding these things. Got another uh, pretty honest wrapper here. This one says 56D. And as you guys can see, got another BU roll. I think that's uh, mainly what we're gonna be finding. I got two more marked rolls over here and I got a quite a few unmarked ones um seems like uh only a few of the unmarked ones have had anything good in them but uh I'll take another BU roll not gonna complain we got yet another roll of BUs here this one looks to be 1966 but I do see some other 60s in there there's a 64 right there but uh as usual very nice looking nickels well, I'm not getting sick of looking at these uh, shiny BU nickels yet. I hope you guys aren't either, but we got another roll of them. Uh, as usual, it's marked uh, 66, scratched out for some reason, but not going to lie, they are all 66. So I believe that's, uh, we're, we're probably getting close to 10 full rolls of BU now. Awesome. So that's going to do it for the nickel portion of that collection dump. Uh, right here on the top, I'm going to have full rolls of BU. I'm going to have six rolls of BU. Uh, I think I have like three or four 56. I have a few 62. I think I have a couple 64s in there. Um, and these are just partial rolls of BU. So I believe we have, what is that, eight rolls there. So I'm thinking we'll have close to 10 rolls of uh, old BU nickels. So that was amazing. Um, we have four, not four, we have nine 40s nickels. Um, no war nickels, nothing too special there. And check out all these 38s and 39s. That is incredible. 26 of those. So that's going to be the nickel part of the collection dump. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and open this dime roll live for you guys after this just to see if there's any silvers or anything crazy hiding in there. And uh, this is going to be a pretty lengthy video, so I think we'll have to save the penny portion for a different video. So unfortunately, I think this is going to be another one of those rolls where the uh, label was correct. It's going to be all 73 DBUs, but man, you don't find dimes like this very often. Those are beautiful. Look like they're pretty much fresh from the mint. So those are going back in the roll, and I don't think I'm going to touch them again. 
I don't find very many BU dimes at all, so that is amazing.